Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is going to be my unboxing and kind of semi-review of my new camera. But this is going to be my new camera that I just bought. Yes, I did buy this. This is not a sponsored video. This was totally bought with my money. This was around a $500 camera. Panasonic. It is 4K, by the way. So this is the best vlogging uh, just all around picture taking video taking camera that I could find and let me get this light off of this This might actually help there we go get the light off as you can tell the camera I'm using right now just doesn't work that well this is the DMC FZ 300 this is the it's not waterproof but it's the dust resistant and splash proof uh, proof camera which is really nice it is a fixed lens so you can't take the lens off which is okay for me because I really didn't want to take any lenses off I feel like it's more of a hassle I'm not a huge photographer or anything I don't know much about cameras so I really don't know the huge huge specs of all this stuff But as you can see here is the camera, which is awesome. Uh, I did buy it in a bundle pack So I'll show you guys everything that was bundled in it got a bunch of bubble wrap as well throw that out of the way We got some lenses here, which I believe these make it uh, so it gets darker and stuff It actually shows you pictures on the back. I have gone through the box a little bit already. It has been opened obviously but it's called a fundamental filter kit. So it makes it like darker shades and stuff if it's really sunny out or something like that, which is pretty cool. This all came with it. Everything together was $526 or something like that. And I thought it was a really good deal. It even came with a tripod. So let me get this tripod out of here for you guys. Look at this. It even came with this tripod right here. 10 year warranty, pretty amazing. <clears throat> and I did need a smaller tripod. So this is actually pretty tiny, which I do need. So really happy about that carrying case as well which is always nice you need a carrying case for a 500 something camera yes you need a carrying case not the best carrying case ever it does have a little pouch in the back but it's nice for the money i mean this is a budget 4k of uh, camera if you guys don't know cameras cameras can go up to anywhere from like 500 to like they can go anywhere from like 200 dollars to like 1500 two thousand dollars like real professional this is not professional but it's just a step below which this could even be i bet you professionals actually use this camera no joke i bet you they do because it all the reviews and i've spent hours upon hours upon hours review like looking up reviews about this and all of it seemed amazing also got this little bundle right here this was all included by the way so really amazing uh, you get the bundle right here, which is not open yet, obviously. So I'll cut to the part that it is. Little screen protectors, like uh, LCD screen protectors, which is very nice. Didn't know it was going to come with that. Uh, this thing, which I'm not too sure, it says, don't panic. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it also came with a five-piece digital care kit, which was extremely awesome. Really happy about that. Uh, came with a 64 gigabyte SD card, and it is SanDisk. So it's a good company. It's... Uh, 64 gigs that's a lot of gigabytes so really happy about that the step above that it's 128 i believe but i really don't think i'll be needing that maybe i will i don't know this is also you put the sd card in the back here and it does something i don't know uh, I, like i said i don't know much about uh cameras and all this kind of stuff but also it came with an extra battery which was nice it's not a legit battery that's for the camera but this battery is for the camera it's just aftermarket it's not the actual panasonic made one so i don't know how good it's gonna be i don't know if i want to use it but it's good for a backup it is good for a backup which is really good also it came with this as well so i believe you can stream it on your tv it's hdmi micro to uh regular hdmi or a, or maybe yeah i think it's like an hdmi micro to a regular hdmi i think so i don't know either way it came with that as well which is also great all of this for a giant bundle i thought it was really good and that is it inside the box Okay, so I did also forget to show you guys. It actually comes with this as well. This is what I dropped before and I forgot to show you. I actually just saw it as I moved the camera. But it's to hold as extra SD cards and stuff. If, like, say you have very small gigabytes on your SD cards or something and you need to change it, you have an extra one of these. So you can just stick, like, maybe, maybe like, eight or ten extra SD cards. I don't know, a whole bunch in there. It's a little carrying case. Really nice. Uh, also came with this as well, which I showed you guys a second ago. You can open this up and it comes with, I believe, a strap inside. Also tissue paper, which everything comes with tissue paper. Uh, yes, it comes with a strap, so you can put a little strap on that side and this side and have it over your shoulder if your arm gets tired. And also you put your camera in here, so it's very, very nice. I do like this. It is a nice case. It's not cheap. It's, it's a decent quality case. I do like it. It's not professional, but it's nice. Uh, also the camera. It's a little heavier than I expected, but still a very, very... Uh, nice weight i guess with me i don't know why but i always think when something's heavier it's made better it's better quality it's just made better all around so i mean i don't know it might be kind of too heavy to hold all the time but from all the reviews i've heard of maybe it's just the extra items like this like these like look how thick that paper is all these manuals these things make it heavy uh it comes with a disc here for 
I guess, learning how to use it, installation disc or something, instructions, obviously. I believe it comes with the camera right there, which is right here, and then it also comes with accessories. Let's look at the accessories really quick. We have the battery pack. You know what? I'll go over this later, but I'll just show you really quick. Battery pack uh, charger. So the battery charger. We have a thing that goes over the lens for, I believe, the sun. It's like a sun blocking lens cap right here, which is nice. Also came with a USB to, looks like micro USB, not too sure. And there should be the battery in here as well. The legit Panasonic battery, which is actually really heavy, which is very nice. It means it's a very good battery. And also the strap that you can put the, you can actually put this strap on the legit camera. And what you guys have been waiting for is the legit camera itself. I have taken this out already to look at it because I couldn't help myself. I had to take a sneak peek. So if there are fingerprints on it, yes, they are from me. <laughs> Not like it was a used camera. This was brand new. Look at that. Oh my God, that is some nice camera. And like I said before in the beginning, it is a fixed lens, so you can't unscrew it and pop it off. It stays on there. It doesn't come off. But still, nonetheless, I still like it. It's got a... Uh, I don't know the zoom ratio and whatnot. Like I said, I don't know much about cameras, but I thought I would show you guys the camera itself and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek at the end of the video or maybe I even did it before, not too sure of what the pictures look like in the video. Uh, 25, 600, I guess that's the zoom. I don't know, I'm not too sure. But uh, I did do a little research on this, like tons and tons of hours of research, but I kind of forget all these specs. Uh, it's got the screen, obviously, that you can go like this and it flips that way. You can also flip it this way to take downward shots if you want. And you can also use the viewfinder here as well. If you're not into the whole screen thing of a jiggy, you just look into the viewfinder. It's like a traditional camera. And that's why I did buy this one. I like the viewfinder on a very, very sunny day. And you like, say it's a very sunny day out and you want to use this camera and you can't look at the screen because it's so sunny. The glare is ter just terrible. It was a terrible glare on the screen. You have the viewfinder to look in, which is very nice. Uh, and you could also, this is good for a very good vlogging camera, by the way, like the title is probably like best vlogging camera. And so you can vlog with it. Obviously you'd have a tripod right here holding it and you'd hold it around for vlogging. Uh, the camera itself is decently light. It's actually not extremely heavy, which is very nice for vlogging, taking pictures, whatnot. Also, it has the weather coating. Like I said before, you can see even like the little texture in it. It's got so many different, I think in the description, it says it has so many, each little knob has seals inside. So the water won't get in the moisture, the uh, sand, the dust, uh, dust particles, stuff like that. So really nice. You have the uh, snapshot, you take pictures and whatnot, 4k video, which is insane. Like I said, I'll add that into the video at the end. Or maybe the beginning, I, I really don't know. <laughs> don't know yet, but either way, really nice camera. Huge freaking lens, by the way. And I'll show you guys some of the accessories as well. Sorry for hitting that. But uh, here we go. We have the battery charger right here, which just a standard battery charger. You have the battery that just plugs in right like that. I'm not going to do it this second. You have the strap, which I showed you. I wanted to show you guys this, which is really cool. So this, I don't know what exactly this does, to be honest. Like I said, this is not a professional video unboxing thingabajiggy. So just to get that out there, because I know there's going to be a lot of roasters in the comment being like, you don't know what camera, what, what are you doing? You don't even know what you're doing. Uh, but either way, I know this screws on like this. I believe it goes that way, or you can do it the other way, but it makes it look so cool. It really makes it look so professional. And this is a professional camera. It's not, it's not extremely professional, but you... It's not the camera that makes it professional. It's the photographer that can take the picture. That's what it is. That's everything about a camera. Even the best, like the best photographers out there can take amazing pictures with cell phones, stuff like that. You don't need a professional camera. You don't need to buy this. I wanted it because I thought it would be cool so I can get better videos. I'm not a professional at taking photos or videos. That's why I thought this would help out a little bit But yes, it will. I heard the zoom and the zoom is amazing on this as well as the, uh, uh, I believe the autofocus is very well is very good which i need autofocus so very good and also if i decide to vlog in the future maybe this would be the best camera this has a lot of videos on youtube if you guys want to check it out uh really cool camera i love this camera so much and like i said i'll actually add in a couple of photos and videos and stuff at the end so you guys can check this out but it just looks so badass that camera oh with that lens on there whatever it's called i'm not too sure it also has a rail on the top of here so you can add in an external microphone so when i take the video with this obviously it's going to sound kind of poopy it won't sound that good because the audio is not the best in cameras like this like built-in audio so it'll be a lot better once i have my uh external mic which i believe i'm getting the rode micro or whatever road video micro whatever it's called it's got like a big poofy ball on the top of it but i'm going to get that it plugs right into the mic on the side external mic right there 
I'm not going to show you guys all the features of this camera because I really don't know all the features and I'm not really a huge camera person. I don't know much about cameras, but uh, it's got the microphone there. It's got a couple other settings and whatnot. You can program. Uh, you have the viewfinder. You have all these knobs up here, which I don't know what most of them do. There's obviously record. There's picture. Uh, yeah, I don't believe you can go like this. And I don't think that's that doesn't zoom in and out. There's actually the zoom right up here. You go like that. You go that way or that way. It zooms in and out, which is really convenient. Very nice. And I hope you guys are going to really enjoy the video and test taking of this. I'll show you guys this in a few moments and seconds. Thank you guys for watching this part of it. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now this is my garden. Uh, the onboard microphone not, might not be that good. Uh, I'm not talking very loud also because I'm outside and I'm just kind of chilling out. But this, these are nice uh, tomatoes over here and whatnot. This is a video not in 4K, but it is 1080p in 60 frames per second, which is amazing. Also, like, look how clear my hand is. Like, this is the clearest you guys will ever see my hand, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, and also, uh, I believe you can do 4K video with 30 frames a second, which is still amazing. That's all you need. I threw a, a, ta uh, a time lapse in the video as well. It might be after this video or before it. Uh, it came out amazing. That was in 4K, which I had no audio with it. But uh, either way, I also got some little uh, string bean thingamajiggies. See, look at this little little pod. I can eat him right now if I wanted to. I'm actually going to rip him off and eat him. It's actually pretty tasty. Uh, I got a couple things down here as well. Some more... Uh, String beans growing right there. We have some more freaking, look at these guys zooming in. Look at those peppers. I don't even know what kind of peppers these are. My mom planted these, so uh, some peppers right here as well, which are gorgeous. And yeah, the zoom is amazing. If you guys want to see the zoom ratio and whatnot, I finally got this camera working amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, like I said, the onboard speaker, I might not sound too good. I need the speaker that goes on top of the camera, which will be amazing. But if you guys think I should vlog with this in the future, please let me know in the comment section because I would love to vlog. Uh, not just to do a face reveal, but just to like, just to vlog my life because I think that'd be an amazing like uh, addition to the series kind of deal. But I uh, also got some... I forget what this is called, uh, something, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but also this right here, this is really cool. This thing that's growing up this pipe, that's actually a, uh, some kind of vine, obviously, but I believe it's a grapevine, that's what it is, it really, I think it is, I'm not too sure. Uh, I didn't plant all this stuff. My strawberry patch, these are all my strawberry patches. I don't see, you see the little flower right here? I'll actually zoom into it, see how good that can go. Sometimes the focus does get out of focus. So you can just touch the screen, which I'm going to be touching it right now. Hopefully it focuses, but uh, it's focusing on the leaves behind it. It is very blurry, but uh, no, I guess I have it on the wrong setting right now because I've been messing around with it, doing time lapses. You can do time lapses with this video, uh, this camera, which is also really cool. And uh, yeah, all my strawberries. I don't know if you can see any strawberries growing. I don't believe so, but like. If it just focused, uh, I still, I'm messing around with the settings. It's a very good camera though. For the money, it is a very, very good camera. I currently, if I take this off, I have this on it right now. That's a really cool thing. And also this camera did come with a, uh, see like, look at that. Focus into the hand, take my hand away. Instantly focuses to everything around it. Really freaking awesome. All these little strawberries. Mr. Froggy, by the way, welcome to the garden. Freaking awesome. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. This will probably be at the end of the video, or uh, this could even be in the beginning of the video. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. But thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.